It has been more than three months since one of the worst school shootings in this country. And today in Uvalde, a new chapter begins. On May 24th, a gunman entered Robb Elementary School, went on a shooting rampage, and forever changed the city of Uvalde. Yeah, by the end of the massacre, two teachers and 19 children between the ages of 9 and 11 years old were dead. In the aftermath of the tragedy, parents in the community have asked for change and more security. Today is the first time children in Uvalde will be in a classroom setting since school ended abruptly in May. KPRC 2's Zach Lajway joining us from outside Benson Elementary School with more on the new school year. This is one of a few schools throughout the district to take in students from Robb Elementary. Several layers of support and security have been added to these facilities for these students, including this eight foot non-scalable fence. Texas Department of Public Safety officers began arriving at Benson Elementary at 6.30 this morning. Soon to follow, staff and faculty members and students ahead of their 7.40 start time. We saw a lot of maroon and white and hugs. We also saw crews finishing work that was not complete, adding panels to fill gaps in the fencing around the school. Scared, nervousness, fear. Celeste Ivara walked her girls to school this morning. What were you doing on the corner with your children? Uh, we were praying. We were praying. My girls were praying and I was praying to make sure to God to hear us, to protect them. Ivara says one of her daughters was a student at Robb Elementary and was at school on May 24th when a gunman entered the school and opened fire on students and teachers, killing 21 in total, 19 children and two adults. She was in the restroom. While today marks a new chapter, a fresh start for many, the aftermath from one of Texas's darkest days lives on for those within um, this community. Well, I spoke to my kids um, the whole week, drilled them on if anything happened again, you know, try to make it out the window, run, don't scream, you know, call me. We live right across, so. I won't be going to work today, that's for sure, so I can just kind of watch them. Across town, Robb Elementary is closed and boarded up. In playgrounds and fields that typically would be filled with children and students now sit still, all overgrown. A memorial outside the school honoring those killed grows more colorful each day. A reminder, good will always outshine darkness. Uvalde CISD officials say they've added cameras and counselors to campuses throughout the district. Texas DPS has assigned 33 officers to schools. We should mention none of these officers responded to Robb Elementary on May 24th. As for today, school wraps up just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. This will be the completion of the first step in this new chapter for this community. In Uvalde, I'm Zach Lajway, KPRC 2 News.